Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G77700 model. The regulatory model for this one is a P46E001 and in this today's video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can replace the hard drive or increase the storage or what are the combinations that you can have in, the, in this laptop. Because I get a lot of questions, people are asking me can I put a 2.5 inch hard drive or can I put a this and that hard drive so in this video we're gonna clarify all that just remember if you replace the main SSD in here you will not have any operating system you have to install your Windows freshly installed which I recommend you guys and few questions comes in by installing Windows people first thing is oh and what do I do with my Windows is original do I lose my license key no you don't lose it before doing anything like that Log in, use your turn on your laptop. Make sure your Windows is associated with your Hotmail account. Once it's associated with Hotmail account, your product key, license keys already automatically will be shared with your account. So after replacing the hard drive, you install your Windows. You can just log in with your uh, credentials, Hotmail account, and it will automatically activate the Windows for you. And there is no problem on that. Also, I made a really short video how to create your Windows 10 or 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. Also made a video how to install it properly on your uh, Dell laptop. Those links can be found on my video description. In this video, I'm just gonna show, open it up, show you how to remove, upgrade them. All right, first thing first, back up your files, power off the laptop, flip it upside down. And this is pretty hefty. You wanna grab yourself an opening screwdriver set kit. I'm gonna be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are hardened steel. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. Okay, and right now we're gonna remove all the screws except two screws because they will not come out. The screws on the front end of the each corner on the front end, these screws they have a little C lock on the other side. That means the screw will rotate and it will uh, not come out entirely. So you wanna leave these two screws for the last. Remove two in the middle front, on the sides, and two at the back corners. Remove these ones and keep them in one pile as they are all the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we remove these two, these two, and the two right over here. We're gonna start removing the corner screws. And I want you to guys see it. So as soon as I start unscrewing this one here, you're gonna see this power separating itself from the palm rest. So there we go. You see that separation right there? And the screw is making a click sound, and that's where you wanna stop. You wanna do the same thing on the other corner. So pretty much rotate. There. And now all you need to do is put it back down, grab from the corner and work it around, lift it up and bring it in 45 degree and pull it towards yourself. And there's your bottom cover. And right away we can see the humongous battery and we can see there is no space for 2.5 inch Mechanical drive or solid state drive, there is no space you can fit one in here. So right away, this is out of the question that if you can put a 2.5 inch SSD or hard drive, you can't. The only hard drives that you can put in here is a PCI Express NVMe hard drives. There is a two slot available, one right in here, which is you have one already with Windows and the second one is right in here. They do not give you a bracket, unfortunately, and that's gonna be a bummer, because finding them is not too easy. Anyway, to disconnect this one, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary, but for those people that are paranoid and they do wanna remove it, all you need to do is to put your two fingers in here on the side of the jack and pull the uh, battery cable backward. Do not yank on the cables but you do not need to remove the batteries at all if you wanna do a RAM upgrade or a hard drive upgrade. And that's why some models, many of the other models, they have the bottom cover 
and they only give you a little space for the RAM or a little space power for the hard drive to upgrade. They don't let you remove the whole things to disconnect the battery. They don't give you access for that. That means you can remove the hard drive or the RAM without disconnecting the battery. Anyway, to remove the SSD, it's very simple. All you need to do is remove one screw at the back here. And then grab this metal plate and pull it back because it has a little uh, thermal tape. It has a thermal pad on it. It's a long thermal pad. Now, right over here, we can see they give you a really flashy, low-grade SSD, micro SSD. So to remove it, all you need to do is unscrew it right there and pull it back in 45-degree angle. You do not want to yank it upward. Do not yank this up. You're going to break it. You want to slide it back in 45-degree angle. So let me show you guys. Close up. When you remove the screw, it will come in 45 degree angle. And all you want to do is slide it backward in 45 degree angle. And that's how you can remove it. So this is a 500 gig micro uh, NVMe. Now, to put a long side NVMe, I recommend you guys to grab a Samsung uh, 980 Pro NVMe. These are really uh, durable and they last you many years, like way better than any other NVMe's. Or you can go a little cheaper, go with an Western Digital Black. You can go with either of them, but I would highly recommend you with a 980 Pro. You can go with a 500 gig up to two terabyte. You can put a two terabyte in here and two terabyte on a second one with no problem. Now, you will need to slide this cover here backward. So this is the riser. They only give you one. They're supposed to give you two. So finding this piece of metal is going to be challenging i'll see if i can find it on aliexpress i'll leave the link in the video description if i can so you want to remove it slide it back from here to all the way back to this side you want to bring it all the way to there if because uh, this one is an empty case i don't have an actual one the nvmes have only one notch on them just like this one is a short nvme and the uh, M.2 SATA has two notch on them. These are compatible with M.2 SATA, but our NVMEs are much faster. So for example, you wanna grab the NVME, bring it down in 45 degree, all the way inside the jack, bring it down, make sure the screw hole matches with the screw hole with the riser that you moved back. And then you wanna put the screw right over on top, just like that. And this is a full size NVME. On the, it should be an NVMe, but it's SATA, but NVMe, it looks the same, installed the same way. Now you want to grab your heatsink, heatsink, and you want to put it on top and put the single screw right over. Now you can have a 2 terabyte, 2 terabyte, but it's going to be a bummer to find this NVMe. All right, and that's how you can upgrade. Now I'm going to put it back, so I'm going to slide this back this way, rotate. Bring it back under, bring it here. And where's my short NVMe right here? So we're gonna grab this one, make sure the notch matches, 45 degree right there, bring it down and make sure the screw hole matches right there. And put the screw right over. The durability on these short NVMEs are not much, so I get lots of clients coming in with a problem with the short NVMEs. There we go. All right, once you install the new hard drive in there, all you need to do is to put the bottom cover. The bottom cover, you want to put the back end down in 45 degree angle, all the way under the plastic. It she goes all the way in. And then you want to bring it down, hold it from the middle, and then put the corner screw so it can pull the cover to itself. Uh, put the other side. And the last thing would be to just put the rest of the screws all over the place. Again, I hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys out to upgrade your storage for your Dell G7. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.